All right, Shalom Akia. All right, first of all, first and foremost, I want to give our praises, our glory, our honors unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kapadash, the ones of the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and best to the hopeful elect. This is the brother, uh, the preacher Zawan from GMS Atlanta. And uh, I'm going to do a uh, quick video on blowing the, uh, the shofar, right, on the ram's horn, which uh, in the Hebrew is uh, shawapar. Okay, shower park. All right. Um, so, uh, you know, basically, this is part of our heritage. This is something that we do on our holy days, the Sabbaths, the, of course, the Passover, which is coming in tonight. Um, so, if I can do an edifying video for the uh, brothers and sisters out there, um, especially, you know, those are part of GMS and, and they watch GMS. Um, so what I have here is just a small ram's horn, not nothing too fancy or magnificent, you know, but it gets the job done. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with a scripture, all right? So I want a scripture, and the first scripture that I want to go to, and uh, let me see here. The first scripture I want to go to is, the book of Psalms, Psalms 81, which uh, this this pretty much goes into the new moon, all right? Um, but like I said, you know, blowing the ram's horn is a part of our heritage, a part of our corpus, so I just want to bring the scripture out. This is Psalms chapter 81, and I'll start at the top. It says, sing aloud unto the most high our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the, the power of Jacob. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant heart with the psaltery. Verse 3, blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel and a law of the power of Jacob. So I just want to establish that this is something that we did, okay, on the high holy days. All right, now I meant this of the new moon here, but it says it was a law and a statute of the power of Jacob, all right? Um, so it's, 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 it's just important that we make sure that we are, um, you know, uh, rehearsing these righteous acts, okay? Um, fact. I'm about to pull up another scripture real quick. All right. Because uh, it's 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 um, it's something that was always done in our history. Now, when you go to the book of Joshua, right? Joshua, the sixth chapter, we had to blow up the trumpet. All right, blow the ram's horn. Um, let me adjust this real quick. All right, so we had to blow up the trumpet and the ram's horn when we came into the land. Okay. Um, this is Joshua 6 and 1. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. And ye shall come past the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days, and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him okay um, right and it says in joshua the son of nun called the priests and said unto them take up the ark of the covenant and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the lord right and that's spiritual because joshua is going to come back okay um soon 
All right, so, you know, that was just an example of us having to blow the, uh, the ram's horn, right? And the scriptures are going to the ram's horn. So the ram's horn or the, the shofar or the shawar par is something that we, um, like I said, blow. Uh, this time's a war where we'll blow. This time's a coronation of the king where we'll blow. This time's when there's an enemy coming into the city and we have to blow the trumpet. For example, we spiritually blow the trumpet, okay, because of the fact that our enemies, the heathen starting with Esau, is going to come down upon our people in these last days um, to uh, try to destroy us. So we have the prophets out here teaching on the streets to blow the trumpets and warn and wake our people up, letting them know that they're Israelites, okay? But even the Most High, uh, the Heavenly Father, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, is going to have a trumpet sent out by the angels for us to be delivered, okay? I'll get that real quick. All right? This is Revelation chapter 18. Right? Let's see, Revelation chapter 18. Alright, just matter of fact. Yeah, and this is the one basically where it says, Come up hither. Uh, Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the power has remembered her iniquities. So, um, the, you know, there's a trumpet that's going to be blown in these last days. Let me go to the scripture. I'm going to read this last scripture, and I'm going to blow the trumpet. Okay? All right, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. And the change is coming. All right, it's happening spiritually, but it's going to happen in the physical and the flesh too. Okay? In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Right? And that's what we're, we're, we're coming to, time when we're going to have to put on immortality. So we have to be changed. And that's going to happen through the Habashan was shot, having that trumpet be blown and, and the elect being delivered and us uh, uh, coming up out of Babylon the Great and wherever we're scattered around the earth and be able to come into the kingdom. All right? But just for this, you know, this, this lesson here and this past over this, this coming in the night, I want to blow this um, ram's horn, the shower par. Now, when you blow a shower par or a ram's horn or a shofar, it's not like your usual instrument you got to kind of close your lips and um, because the opening is like real small so you have to close your lips and it, it, it kind of vibrates a little bit it's kind of you know it gets it takes some getting used to but when you get it you'll be able to blow the trumpet with ease and a lot of brothers can blow different sized trumpets I got another trumpet here um, I got one small and I and then I got another one a little bit bigger and then brothers have like the long um, long um, so far okay so I'm just gonna blow this one real quick all right Some brothers can, you know, make sounds and do, you know, certain tricks and things with them. Uh, that's uh, like preferably like the longer show far is a little bit easier to blow through because the holes uh, a little bit larger. 
All right, so that was this small one that I had. And this is another, like I said, a little bit bigger. You know, it had like the stones in the ephod on it, all right? And, and this is a little bit bigger, but uh, through the spirit of one, I could blow this one too. Y'all about y'all was getting ready to come back. You know, the trumpet's is going to be blowing. We go over these hot holy days. You know, we practice and rehearse the righteous acts to blow these um, these ram horns and these trumpets through the spirit. And uh, by the way, I'm facing the east as well. Okay, because that's something that we do even when we pray. Okay. Um, so that was just real quick. You know, I didn't want to make this too long, but I want to make it edifying and, you know, how to blow the trumpet and to blow the trumpet so you can hear it. All right. Um, so with that, I want to give our praises, our glory, our honors unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Yahweh Daesh. All right. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Shalom.